Eccentric Deliberations is a collaborative effort between me, Marco Cooper, and Elizabeth Carefoot. Uh, Elizabeth is quite new to the gauge, and when we first met, it was over a year ago because it was before lockdown, um, I just suggested rather uh, spontaneously, would you like to share my show? She was looking for a group show and I was looking for a change, so uh, we decided we'd work together when my show came up and then we were in lockdown for a while, so it was delayed until just now. We weren't able to get together in person to plan a show or work together, so we just uh, worked in our own studios and talked a little bit and emailed back and forth. Uh, the title came, we needed a title and we really didn't have anything specifically in mind. So we, uh, and we didn't know one another very well, so I sent her an email with some things about myself and she sent me something back and I don't even remember what we said but then Elizabeth sent me to get us started she sent uh, a list of words just random words and I played with them and I put together some combinations and eccentric and deliberations were two of the words and we thought oh that's kind of catchy so that's all the title means uh, we found it amused us and thought it was kind of suitable piece is the title piece for the show, mm -hmm. Eccentric De Deliberations, and um, it was just sort of an accident. It was painted about oh, maybe three quarters of the way through the series, and uh, I usually work quite, um, well, there was nothing deliberate about this. Uh, I, I start with layering on my color, and then when the canvas is quite full of color, I start picking out images with my white brush, but this figure appeared almost right away, and I felt it was almost a little bit too representational for me, too realistic, because this is more the type of figure that I would normally um, include. So sometimes when I get a figure that looks a little bit too real, I, I start interfering with it, so it, it, it's more abstract. But I felt that I just could not touch this woman. I, I loved her the way she was, and I felt obliged to instead create a world for her to occupy. So I left her alone, and I continued working around her, finding what I usually find strange and uh, ambiguous kind of images. And as I was working on this piece, it, it occurred to me that here is an eccentric deliberation. Uh, I felt that she, I looked at her feet, and I, I used to work with a lot of elderly people who um, maybe memory was going or gone, and they weren't quite sure of their surroundings, and they would walk very slowly and carefully, um, and maybe see things that might not be there, or trying to remember what things were, and I felt connection, a connection with that, uh, looking at this lady. So as I was making this weird world for her to walk through, I thought maybe she is remembering things or seeing things that she thinks maybe I should know what this is, but I'm not sure. So as I was doing this, uh, I called Elizabeth and I said, would you mind if I named my painting the title of our show? And of course she said not at all. So I said, well, we have our title piece. So this is Eccentric Deliberations.